Hello dentist, how are you today? Today, uh, I hope you're fine. Uh, let's talk about uh, pulpitis. Today, we're going to talk about pulpitis. Okay, before we start our topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Okay, we're going to know the definition of pulpitis and then we're going to talk about reversible pulpitis and irreversible pulpitis. Okay, so pulpitis is an inflammation of the pulp. Okay, can you see this in this uh, photo? Okay, you have um, a carious lesion in a mandibular primary molar that uh, might pre uh, uh, present, uh, be present with irreversible irre pulpitis. Okay, so this is a reversible pulpitis, means that the pulp is vital. Okay, the pulp here is vital. Okay, we can fill the cavity and uh, and uh, uh, save the tooth okay let's go to the next let's know now the definition of irreversible irre pulpitis and irreversible pulpitis reversible pulpitis is a sh is uh, uh, when the patient comes to the clinic and he's complaining of uh, sharp pain okay he's he's feeling uh, sharp pain and th this pain is set off by cold or hot things so when he drinks hot tea or drinking cold uh, like ice cream or cold drinks whatever he will feel sharp pain also on eating sweets when he eats sweets he will feel this sharp pain so this means that this patient has reversible pulpitis reversible means it can return back reversible reversible okay reversible means that it can heal okay uh, uh, it is poorly localized okay it is poorly localized and uh, lasts for several seconds so we can't really know exactly where it is it's poorly localized and lasts for seconds so few seconds okay the difference between reversible and irreversible pulpitis let's know what is re irreversible pulpitis it is a throbbing pain throbbing pain and this pain is set off by biting or spontaneously so this means a patient when he bites or eats okay will feel pain or spontaneously here the pain is uh, well localized you can know exactly where is the pain okay the patient will know exactly where is the pain he will show you where he is feeling the pain and it will last for hours it will last for hours Okay, this is the difference between reversible and irreversible. Irreversible, it will not, it will, uh, the pulp will not return back to be vital. Okay, it, there is an inflammation. Okay, irreversible means it will not uh, return back or it will not heal and will become vital again. Okay, so in this case, we, it has a different line of treatment. You reversible pulpitis has a certain line of different has a certain line of treatment and irreversible uh, pulpitis has a different line of treatment we're going to talk about it so here we have uh, types of nerve fibers in the in the pulp the pulp has B, uh, beta uh, fibers which are large fasting conducting prop proprioceptive fibers okay also, there is uh, uh, alpha fibers, uh, which are small sensory fibers, okay, uh, small sensory fibers. And uh, the finally, we have C fibers, which are small unmyelinated sensory fibers. So, there are, there are three different types of fibers in the pulp. We can see here in this diagram, can you see E fibers? This is the A fibers and alpha, uh, A beta fibers, uh, A alpha fibers and C fibers which are unmyelinated. So here we have, uh, these are different types of uh, tests to diagnose reversible and irreversible pulpitis. We use percussion, okay, vitality test, radiograph. Can you see here, we have here. This is the uh, this is the mirror. Okay, we have the mirror here. We strike the uh, hit the teeth. We hit the tooth with the back of the, the mirror. Okay, the handle of the mirror. 
And if you fe uh, if the if the patient feels uh, pain, this means he has periodic pathosis or infection in the CT. So this means uh, there is uh, uh, we know there is an infection in this tooth. Okay. So we can know that this uh, is reversible or irreversible pulpitis by percussion. Vitality test is also a good uh, uh, way or treat uh, to diagnose uh, reversible and irreversible pulpitis. The last thing is the radiograph, which shows that there is a, if there is any periapical pathosis or infection in the tooth. Okay, if there is infection of the tooth, and the line of treatment to, for uh, each is different. So, in case of uh, reversible pulpitis, we can make a filling. Okay, we can make a uh, pulpotomy. Or okay, uh, an irreversible Pulpitis irreversible, we can make endo treatment or extraction of the teeth. This is a vitality test. Okay, we can use it to uh, to diagnose the, if the tooth is vital or not. Finally, we're going to talk about the treatment plan for uh, irreversible pulpitis. We know that now. This is a dead pulp, okay. So what can we do for the dead pulp? We remove the pulp, okay, uh, and then we make up to uh, filing and then uh, make obturation, okay. And then we fill in fill it with a uh, restoration and then we can make crown on this uh, tooth. So the first line of treatment is uh, could be treatment uh, could be root canal treatment, okay. In case of a good uh, oral hygiene and uh, uh, enough bone is around okay this would be a successful uh, line of treatment for uh, uh, for this uh, tooth okay in case of a bad oral hygiene what can we do we will make extraction so if this patient is that has uh, bad oral very bad oral hygiene the bone is uh, resorbed and a lot of calculus so the line of treatment for this tooth is extraction uh, thanks for uh, uh, listening today and i hope that uh, you enjoy today's topic and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel